I'm Mari Grigalunas, <clears throat> the Public Information Officer at the Village of Villa Park, and I'm here with my guest, Fire Chief Ron Rakosnik, and he's going to talk to us a little bit about preventing dryer fires, because I understand in 2014 alone, we had five in the village. We had five fires in, in the village of Villa Park in 2014. Uh, I believe two or three of those were extensive. When I, when I say extensive, they uh, extended outside the dryer uh, and ignited um, combustible material uh, that was either near the dryer or either in the dryer or near uh, and caught the houses on fire wow. um, and caused extensive damage. Wow. And um, how common is this? Is five a large number for a village like us? Well, a small village like Villa Park, it seems extensive to me. Yeah. Um, in, in North America, where we live, there's uh, on an average of 15,000 uh, dryer fires per year. And that's wow. it's quite a bit. Yeah, it sounds like a lot. Quite a bit. Um, and what is the most common cause of dryer fires? Well, the most common is the uh, lack of uh, maintenance. When I say maintenance, uh, cleaning them, uh, even though you have a lint trap, a lot of times the lint will get outside the lint trap uh, and build up in either in the back of the dryer or on the bottom of the dryer to a point where uh, when your dryer kicks on, ignites a flame, uh, it ignites the lint uh, or dust or combination thereof and eventually works its way into the, uh, into the barrel of the dryer, catching the clothes on fire and eventually getting outside the dryer, wow. catching uh, ignitable uh, combustible material uh, outside the dryer. Okay, so then the best way to prevent that would be to clean your lint trap? I would, you know, I, I would before guess. you uh, turn your dryer on every, every time, I would um, clean your lint trap, of course, uh, but maybe two or three times per year, depending on how big your family is, I would actually take a vacuum cleaner and try to take your dryer apart a little bit as best you can and vacuum uh, dust that's outside that uh, lint trap. Um, it just seems that people forget to, to do uh, general maintenance on them, uh, and the lint does build up outside. And over time, if you have a large family, you know, like in our house, we have a family of five. Uh, I take my dryer apart twice a year okay. and vacuum it out um, and uh, try to eliminate. And I have my dryer in a position where it's within maybe two or three feet of the nearest combustible material. A lot of times people will hang dryer or uh, clothing above their dryer, mm. uh, have clothes on the floor that are going to go into the dryer or washer machine. Um, yeah. If something were to happen, it's going to come out of that door and uh, ignite combustible materials next to the dryer. Um, right. So uh, a couple things, keep your dryer um, lint trap clean, mm -hmm. keep your dryer vents clean, make sure your dryer vents uh, are open and closing properly. Sometimes it the, uh, the lint will build up in those uh, metal tubing or uh, flexible tubing, um, which would cause a problem. And okay. right now, with the inclement weather we're having, um, mm -hmm. sometimes those doors won't even open outside because of a buildup of snow or ice. So, oh. it, so the heat will build right. up and stay inside more and not vent properly. Mm -hmm. um, so, the, so it'll actually vent inside the dryer or outside the dryer. So. Um, if that can't open properly, it causes an issue as well. Okay. So, make sure uh, that's clear. And sometimes you might even see a critter come in there looking for heat. They they may crawl in oh. there too, uh, to block it. So, okay. uh, which has been known to happen, not too often, but it does happen. So it's a little more of a risk in this cold weather then. Well, it's a risk at any time, but right, right. now because of not you know improper ventilating because it can't open up that outside flap because of uh, snow or ice buildup is more of an issue right now yeah all right well thank you for taking the time to share these tips with us and remind everyone and thank you to all the firefighters as well keeping thank everybody you. safe great to be here thank you thanks